Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we completed base adapter with the view holder design pattern. If you want to spend some time in understanding what were the problems with base adapter, the least views were becoming more and more complicated. Recycling of the view was not provided as a out of box feature in the base adapter until and unless you read some blogs here and there then only there was a proper way of implementing base adapter data binding in the base adapter was very primitive you had to manage everything inflating of the views binding the data to those inflated views everything need to be taken care by the developer animations on the row items as you add remove and update those row items is not very easy to do with least view and almost there is no support for changing positioning of row items in the least views what do i mean by that is what if i want to lay these individual row items as grid what if i want to scroll these items in the horizontal order instead of a vertical order so this is not very easy to do with the current implementation of base adapter or the least view and that is why they basically wanted to revisit the base adapter and redesign it from the scratch first thing first is they wanted to make sure that the view holder design pattern is now supported out of box as as a part of recycle view view holder will be central to reuse and recycle feature of least view capability and separation of the view creation and data binding will be taken care what do i mean by this is if you have a look at the earlier code the way we used to implement the get view we had one block of the code which used to do the view creation and another block of code which used to bind the data to those individual views and all this was being done in one single method that is get view method they wanted to avoid this and do this in two separate components of recycle view implementation they wanted to have a, a very standardized and consistent input handling what happens if the person clicks on row or what happens when the person clicks on one of the widgets that is present inside the row of least view they wanted to have a very efficient handling of of positioning the row items in the list view how do you want to show it when a row items get changed and what kind of animations that you want to apply to these rows so these are the some of advantages that you get when you start using a recycle view with so many advantages i am sure you are itching to get started with recycle view but before you use recycle view make sure that you add these three lines to build dot gradle file of your application the first line supports the recycle view in your project and then second one design basically supports the material design capability and the third one is the card view card view is typically used to display the individual row items in the list view so now it is time to get into a quick demo and see how it is done so let's revisit the same code that we have been using since earlier demos and if you observe build gradle file now i have added these three support libraries to my project the card view will be used to render the individual row items if you go to the layout person row item now you can observe that i have used card view instead of using a normal linear layout or a relative layout now going back this was the earlier implementation of least view base adapter now you can observe that i have created another class called as least adapter with recycle view right now it looks like a, a simple normal class and i basically pass list of person which i want to inflate and i also pass the context once again i would use this particular context to get the layout inflator the main difference between base adapter and the recycler view is here you were extending base adapter but in case of recycler view you will extend something called as recycler view dot adapter that adapter will take a generic type of holder so you need to define a inner class inside this particular recycler view which will extend view holder class so how to do that is i will create a per Person holder which extends recycle view dot view holder this is a built-in support for view holder design pattern from the recycler view and the implementation of this pretty much looks similar to what we had implemented in base adapter view holder design pattern we just use the individual text view name last name gender and nationality corresponding to these individual ui widgets that we want to render in our row items you can 
observe that there are still some methods that I need to implement as a part of this implementation. The next method is get item count. Get item count will just return the total number of items that I need to inflate in my recycler view. In this case, it would be the size of the person list. And then comes on bind view holder method. On bind view holder method basically takes holder as the first argument and the position as the second argument. So you will observe that I get hold of the person that I need to render and then after that it is just holder dot text view name dot set text last name nationality and gender you can ignore this particular statement this is irrelevant as of now on bind view holder as name indicates will basically bind the data to the holder but what about the inflation that is where the another method comes into picture which is on create view holder and if you observe the return type of this particular method is person view holder so basically this is the holder that gets passed in here to bind the values and then the arguments are view group and the view type you can use this to basically inflate a different kind of row items in the list view we will see this in further videos but the basic idea is inflate views this is the same view that we wanted to inflate for the individual row items and then parent second argument that you need to pass the third argument is false and then you create an instance of person view holder and pass view it basically calls this particular particular constructor that you have defined in the recycler view holder and that's it you have successfully implemented a recycler view now how do i use this particular recycler view in the application let me go back to the main activity and if you observe i do the find view by id of the recycler view which is this particular recycler view that i am referring to create an instance of recycler view that is the implementation that we just did pass context and the list of person that we want to inflate and then we cannot just simply set the adapter you have to use a layout manager then you have to set that layout manager to the recycler view then you have to set adapter to that particular recycler view you will see a various different implementations of this some people even set the animation but we will not do it as of now but this is the very bare minimum thing that you have to do you have to create an instance of the layout manager it basically tells in which way you want to lay out these row items in your recycler view the next line basically sets this particular layout manager to the recycler view and finally you set the adapter to that particular recycler view and let me run this this is the way it looks and you can observe that because we have used the card layout this particular view is much better than what a linear layout or the relative layout would have given you and this is the very bare minimum implementation that you typically see while implementing the recycler view and instead of using linear layout manager i could have used grid layout manager you can see that there are various overloaded constructors but what we can do is pass context and the second argument is the number of columns and just rerun this and it displays same rows in a grid layout layout manager helps you to decide how do you want to lay these individual row items in the recycler view and this is very basic advantage of using a recycler view over a normal adapter we will explore many more advantages of using a recycler view over a base adapter so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye